Folks, let me get your attention for a few minutes. We're going to, um, I'm going to cover how to do this, um, how to modify the actual sprites, the things inside the, um, the game of asteroids, speci specifically the ship we'll start with, and then we'll look at the asteroids later to see if those are doable. Um, um, you guys are probably familiar with sprites from Sprite Game. Um, years ago, I used to know it, it. It sort of stood for something. But basically, what they consist of is just small images, in our case, 64 by 64 pixels with an alpha channel. Um, and we need some extra software to change it. Um, if you look in our directory, Z in Asteroid Source, I've put in this zip file which holds a program called glue it. Uh, I'm going to open it here, but you should make a copy of it. And I'll show that momentarily. Um, and I have an After Effects project called Player AEP, which already has a lot of this set up for you. So copy both of those, and then go into your old folder. And I bet I did it already. Francis. Uh, where are we here? This one, I believe. And I'm wrong. It is this one, yes. OK, I'm going to open this program. Um, we're not going to use it right away, but we'll just have it open. Uh, I hit run. It's very simple looking. All of this program does is it's going to take a sequence of PNG files, in this case, 90 of them. That's going to turn them into one long, thin PNG, which is what they have to be. The way that the ship is rotating in this game is that every four degrees, the, um, the web page loads 64 more pixels down. So it needs an image that's 64 pixels wide and 64 times 90 pixels long. And this is going to help us make that. Um, let me go to After Effects which is here, and this is that composition player. I'll even reopen it so you can see. Uh, player, and I'll open it. And if you look at this, this is a shape that I put in here. It's not that complicated. Uh, the shape, I can go to my pen tool just to see it here, and I should be able to modify this easily. Like that. See if I can move that point too to make that wider. And we'll pull that in like that. And let's say I decide I don't want the outside to be blue, I'll make it green. Why not? I could make it in different shape entirely. You know what it'll do for fill? I'm going to use a gradient fill, why not? It's going to be small because this is 64 pixels by 64 pixels, but so what? Uh, radial gradient. See, we're seeing almost nothing with that. Let, let's change the size of it a little bit. Ah. I'll go here. I'll modify this a bit so it fills better. Um, and maybe I'll go back to my pen tool over here. And I'll pull that a bit wider. And I'm still not loving that gradient. Let's get a better looking gradient. Uh, we'll go from red to ah, to green, why not? Like that. Um, and I probably have to change the range of the gradient. Um, let's go back there again. Radial gradient. I should be able to see this in real time. There we go. And I'll change my stroke to uh, I like the green color, but we'll make it fewer pixels. We'll make it two pixels. And that way it looks like it's fading from one to the other. If I felt like that. Um, if I look at the composition, my composition is 64 pixels by 64 pixels. So it's a little tiny square. And it's 30 frames per second, and it's three seconds long. That means it's going to be 90 frames when we output it. So if I hit OK here, you'll see this is just one layer. And it only has animation on 
Let's close that up. The rotation. It's doing a 360 degree rotation. That's all it's doing. Just like that. Once I'm happy with whatever I have in here, I would render it. Composition, add to render queue. Okay, we're going to go through all the yellow um, words so that we get the right settings in there. Uh, this is all fine. And you'll notice here, 229, three seconds. That's just the length I need it to be. I'm going to go to the output module. This is the most important one. We're going to pick a PNG sequence. And we want it to be RGB and alpha, because we want the alpha channel to be around the thing. And I'm going to hit OK. And then where I'm going to put it. I should make it easy to find. I'm going to go into my folder, my source, um, my asteroids code. Over here, I'll show you where that is. I'm going to go to Francis. I'm going to go into asteroid source. I'm going to go into images. And I'm going to make myself a new folder here so that I don't uh, lose anything. Hey, it's, you'll have this. <laughs> I'm going to call this folder, I'm going to call this uh, play. Now, also to make my life easier, I'm going to rename these files. I want them to be file name, period, number, 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 period, PNG. So if I go down here, I'm going to call this uh, play, period, and then the bracket, the three number sides, then PNG, and I'm going to hit save. Then I'm going to hit render. Should make that sound. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. If I'm in my folder, we'll go up to Francis, I'm in Asteroid Source, I'm in Images, I made this new folder called Play, and this has 90 images in it, from 0 to 89. If I double, yeah, you can see them right there. If I go down, you should see them changing. See? I have to convert all these into one big long strip. That is my goal. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back down to this thing, which you have to get a copy of. It's tiny, called Glue It. And I'm going to hit Add. I'm going to go into Play. I'm going to pick all of these images. Hold down the Shift key, hit Open. And they're all in there. Now I need to tell this program to make a big, long, thin strip of them. So I'm going to make the number of columns is going to be one. So it will be one column thick. And then I'll change this just so I can see them play to five. It just will, is how fast it will play back when we hit it. It doesn't really affect what we're doing. And I hit the glue it button. And it will show me what that will look like, which is what I want it to look like. Now I hit save. When I hit save, it's going to give me one image that's now the long strip. I want to go up to my top directory, and I'm going to call this uh, new player. and hit save. Good. If I want to, I can go here and it will show me what that's going to look like, which is just what I want it to look like. That's going to be my new ship flying around, right? Um, let me exit that and let's go into our Adobe code thing, which is floating around here somewhere. After Effects. To, and I probably have to reopen it. Adobe Edge code. I could launch this separately, but um, this is where we launch from. We're in the right directory. Uh, before I use that, let's rename the file. Um, I'm going to go into my folder. You can see how important pathing is for all this, huh? Francis, asteroid source, images, and that should be my new image. Even if I double click it, it should show me big long strip, which is what I want it to be. Uh, this is my old image. Uh, just to show it to you, that is what the old image looked like. So I'm going to delete this one, and I'm going to rename this one. 
takes five seconds to delight 305k. Uh, I'm going to rename this to player. So it's basically just going to take the place of the other file. And since it's the exact same size, when the thing runs, and let's see, it should, well, we'll find out. Here's our game for asteroids. It's been heavily modified. And there's our new ship. But you'll see it's backwards, actually, which tells me I should do it the other way. If it fires, it's going to come out of what I thought, ah, what I thought was the front of it. Actually, what I thought was the back of it, there it is. That's taking this, this sprite, turning it into a bunch of images, and then turning those into a long strip, and then putting it into the program. What do you think of that? I, I want to show you the resources again. And again, there'll be a video of all this, so you'll be able to get it. Um, let me see.